Hi guys, quick update here for YouTube. It's Thursday 9th of November 2023. Hope everyone's doing great. If you want to join the group, everything's there. If you want, if you want to pay via crypto, just uh, message me through the Facebook page. So um, we've called this move perfect on the S&P. At the start of August, we call for a multi-month co correction. That's all over the group. We do twice a week video updates, which are very detailed, very long, covering everything from the indices to the bonds, to the forex, to the stocks, and the whole of crypto, right? So we cover everything. And then in the interim in between those videos on mondays and thursday mornings we also have ad hoc updates and i update on my own personal positions right so we've called this move perfect now we had a feeling this move was going to be a false move never really had the right capitulation signals put call ratio extreme pessimism that you really associate with a proper low then we've gone down now we've gone back up it's it's eight days straight up we're bound to give some of these gains back i don't see this happening frankly that's a one going up it's not a two going up as part of a diagonal coming down it's one going up so there may very well be some pullback everyone's obviously missed this move while the rest of us have been i mean we weekly call options are are up 15,000% from this low here to here. So you're bound to get some profit taking soon. Uh, let me just check when the options expiration is here. Um, it's Thursday the 9th of November. So I'm guessing it's going to be next week. Let me just double check that right now. One second. Yeah, so we got options expiration next... Um, uh, next... Uh, Friday so obviously you know you're going to get some dem uh, you know delta hedging going into that so a bit of consolidation 4400 is a big gamma level um wouldn't be surprised if they tag that consolidate back down to around 4350 I, you know I don't I don't see this happening I just just don't see this happening this market is destined to go higher there's one stock in in particular which we're very bullish on uh, up significantly from the lows which I feel personally is going to be the world's most valuable company and it's definitely not Apple so uh, you guys will have to figure that one out for yourself or you can come and join the group so SP I think is bullish we'll have a quick look at the queues we're looking at just you know some kind of complex ending diagonal here eventually the queues are going to go to a 500 um, you know price that is that, that is the target here some kind of ending diagonal much like the SP um, you know I am still secular bullish on this SP I can't imagine a large crash materializing just yet um, I don't see that as a one two I don't see it as a triangle and I don't see it as an AB down frankly it's more of an ending diagonal uh, we've tagged the line tagged the 200 regained the 200 back test off the 50 like I said there might be some consolidation as you would expect um, I just don't see this happening I just don't see this happening now would I be concerned if it breaks 4k yes but we're nowhere near 4k so 4k is the kind of line in the sand here as long as we're comfortably above this kind of resistance you know support level here um, this market is going to go higher to me max pain is still higher that's the way I'm reading this I'm my analysis of sentiment on the S&P even after I move like this is that People are still bearish. People are going to be shorting into this move today. Like it's, I mean, it's still up today. It could still close green today. I mean, these are not heavy sell-offs. The, the, you know, this is a bull market of sorts. Um, use that term loosely, but technically, we are still secular bullish. Now we're starting a new bull trend, if you like, right? And we have been doing so. So you know, there is advantage to being in the group. Mondays and Thursdays, we do detailed videos as well as ad hoc updates. So, uh, so um, you know, to me, the market goes higher. Um, I don't see any reason to change that thesis until 4K breaks. Uh, so that's the Nasdaq. Um, that's the Qs. Nasdaq should get to about 20K. So let's cover Bitcoin. Now, before we cover Bitcoin, we have been very long this one coin, which I deem as the new Bitcoin. It's 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 one which is performing very very well. I mean, I've got a ten dollar price target here. We've been in this for a very very long time, and not comfortably from the lows. The ultimate target here, I mean, let me just get it up here, is um, you know nine point nine six. So to me, this is the new Bitcoin. Um, you know, I won't show you the the exact count. It's not fair on group group members, but ultimately, I'm seeing this going to continue. We've been long. I mean so far it's up about 50x from the lows well it's nearly 100x from the lows we've been accumulating into here looking for that ascending triangle baker as always effect is proportional to the cause there's a lot of cause getting built here from march shake out the weekends once twice ascending triangle breakout much like verge i mean this could go to ten dollars it solves the trilemma 
that is the problem with Bitcoin. Now, obviously, I'm not a fundamental expert. My, you know, I would never be bullish on this stock if the chart didn't look good. Well, the first thing is the chart. The chart tells me it's going to go to about 10 US dollars. Right, great. But, um, you know, the fundamentals, they, they solve, to my understanding, uh, the decentralization, the security and... Um, there's another part of that dial uh, of that trilemma there. Let me just pull it up. I think it is. Uh, uh, what is it now? Yeah, scalability, right? So it's 10 blocks per second, right? It's way faster than Bitcoin. And I, to my understanding, that's going to increase massively. So I would suggest everyone, um, uh, you know, to at least have a look at the fundamentals. But from a chart perspective, this can still multiple, multiple X, even from current levels. Like I said, it's one which we've been in the group for quite some time. And, um, you know, I won't, I won't give anything more away there. Obviously, along the path towards your eventual target, I'm always a big fan of taking regular profits, but I don't think this is done just yet. There's various things which need to occur with this coin specifically, which I've shared with the group. And we're just ticking those boxes off. So far, none of those things have occurred. So it's still in a bullish environment. We know that November on average is a 35% up month for Bitcoin. So I don't really see anything uh, to do there with Casper just yet. But eventually, once the FOMO really starts and, um, you know, Bitcoin normies start moving over into Casper, that's when you know you're going to have a bit of a problem, isn't it? Then it's time, um, you know, time to offload Thanksgiving, usually a good time to, uh, you know, just offload to your uh, family, basically, for those who, um, who are into that. Now, so... Once again, we've been long since 25k. Uh, once again, you know, the advantage of joining the group, you know, I don't, I don't have time to do videos every day, do I? So, uh, especially on YouTube. So, we kind of, you know, sold it. Uh, uh, what did we do now? So, it was the first move down where we sold and we got back in. Yeah, so we sold. So, bought here, sold here, bought here, quickly jumped back in. And now we're up massively from that position. As I was saying down here, the target is 44k. I don't want to make any silly calls. I think 44k is a very logical very reasonable target for various reasons followed by which point we're going to run these stops above here 50k to me those are the targets then 44 to 50k we've been running that from here i, I find it very hard to call a top right here right now i'm not expecting this as, a, as we've been saying right here these are the lows for the entire year i don't think there'll be a post halving pump personally it follows my thesis on the s p and the nasdaq and one stock in particular which i can't really give away here it would be unfair um, which is going to continue rallying in this bubble move, this melt-up move, all the way to around 5,400 on the, on the S&P. So, um, time of doing video, this still looks bullish. Bitcoin likes round numbers. When is the next big round headline? 40K. So, 44K has been the target, very conservative. I, I wouldn't say it's extra cons conservative. Some people were looking for a move down at 30K. So, um, I think that's a very realistic target because I'm still off the macro opinion that Bitcoin's crap and, you know, Casper's the new, you know, Casper's your new best mate friendly ghost over here, right? So, you know, to me, Casper's like here. Bitcoin's all the way over in a multi, you know, year, you know, super cycle and Casper's here. So which one would you rather own? Right. I don't know. I, you know, some people will think differently. But to me, that was a one. That was a two. That was three. That was four. That was five. If, the, if that's not the five, that's definitely the five. So I have doubts. Let's just put it at that. I have doubts after 50K how high this can go. So to me, as always, hashtag TRP, take regular profits, right? You know, I'm a huge fan of this. Something that we teach on the masterclass. Risk and reward is a, not a static concept, right? You start at two, stop at zero, you aim for 10. You're risking two to make eight. So, yeah. So, let's say, you you know, you enter at two, stop at zero, right? So, you're getting a four to one. But then, you know, let's say your target is still at 10 and you've done all the analysis, your volume profile, your fibs, price action, levels, right? It gets to eight and you move to stop. Um, you move your stop to break even, right? But then your reward is only two, and you're still risking six. So that and, and that's one to three. Would anyone ever risk three to make one? I don't think so. So risk and reward, dynamic concept. So I'm a huge fan of taking regular profits, especially in such a highly volatile beta kind of market here, like um, 
<laughs> beta. Um, you know, a high beta environment like uh, crypto, where you could be up 5% one day, the very next day you're down 3%. So um, to me, I don't see a top just yet. I think there's a little bit more to go. I would say at least 40k before we can start ringing the alarm bells here and calling a bit of a top on crypto right there. So that's about 10 minutes done. What else can I cover here without giving too much away? Um... We'll have a look at Solano, right? Let's just give away the targets on Solano. So as always, we've um, been all over this. I mean, even as early as the end of last year when we call this low, right? So we've been all over this. We've mentioned the eventual target here is 75. 75 is right here. And the reason for that is there's a sneaky little inverted head and shoulders, which you can't really see on the candlestick. Convert it to a line chart, but it is there. Yeah, so you know that is advantage to having the premium subscription. I mean, you could probably get different chart patterns, you know, with the pro subscription, perhaps, or perhaps some of the basic ones. I'm not sure, but you know, it's it's for those who look at charts all day long. I think it's useful to have the most premium subscription, so there are no limiting factors. There are times when candlesticks don't give you all the information. We have to convert it to a line chart, so it's just easier to read. I mean, I can't, you know, it's very hard to see the head and shoulders there, and you know, as we know from Hedge and Lee, right? This onto here, boom. 75 that's where it's going so we bought this low this low and this low right so we're primarily swing traders in the group for those who are just long-term investors who buy microsoft um you know who buy microsoft um you know here and then sell 16 year, years later to break even i don't really think the group is going to be for people like that um microsoft itself is going to go to the four double o by the way so but i won't give away that company just yet i think the stock market and smp is approaching a top here a bubble top the likes of which we have never seen and the crash is going to be without a doubt the most spectacular crash in human history in a lot of negative ways unfortunately so um but we've been calling for that for the last five years and you guys can go back on youtube finally i want to just cover the dominance here um i mean ultimately we're looking for 60 percent yeah we're just going to keep it nice and simple on the, on the dominance um you know we're not going to cover this every day I'm, I'm i'm not sure what the bull market support band is saying here on the dominance there's no re real need to do um you know multiple videos here just on the dominance just to get some views so i think i think 60 percent seems to be the kind of resistance zone for where the dominance i think will peter out will pull back somewhat money will then flow from Bitcoin into altcoins, then obviously we're going to have an altcoin season there. And obviously a great time to join the group either now, then, whenever. I mean, those who have not been in the group since the last YouTube video, you've actually missed everything. So, you know, the market is very volatile. This is not a normal market that we're in. Things are moving very quickly. Things are moving very fast. It requires expert, you know, analysis, up-to-date analysis, because the market's moving very, very fast. You know, um, you just got to look at Bitcoin and various altcoins, how they're moving. You know, there's a lot of profit potential here if you're all over this, um, especially as we go into the more volatile months, which tend to be September to March. You know, uh, market is, is kind of chilled out, I suppose you could use that term. Over summer, as soon as September, October kicks off, the big money starts rolling rolling back in obviously we're going to get a lull period around christmas the new year but then january february march going into the halving it's a great time to be joining the group and obviously we've got the educational courses should you want it but dominance i think 60 percent seems a good headline um seems a good way to get people trapped into bitcoin at those 40 44k prices and then people will then offload their bitcoin and then use that to buy some speculative altcoins um uh, which obviously we've we've been up, you know, massively in a few of them, um, you know, since the start of the year. Um, in fact, we've we've been in pretty much everything since the start of the year. You know, AJX, Solano, Pepe, been in all of them. Okay, good. So I think uh, we can recap then. So let's just have a quick look at the spy ETF. We got some real time. Um, let's just have a look here so yeah i mean if it breaks 4k you know th that would be worrying um you know how much of a sell-off are we going to get yes we've left a few gaps you know you know you don't like to see two gaps but you know sometimes the market doesn't give people a chance and there's people who are absolutely convinced this is a wave two and it's it's, it's a you know it's a huge wave three crash down so you know shorts at new highs create new highs so you know I, I don't see this selling off i mean could we even get to the gap i, I just don't another three percent but for this to now fall six percent in a coordinated sell-off there is absolutely zero narrative that i see 
given the fact that we've called this perfectly and we've looked at pre-election years, we've looked at the fiscal flows, we know about the corporation tax, we, we, we knew exactly what was going to kick off here, we know there are corporate buybacks going on um, until a certain date in December, good to know when they occur to. Um, I don't see any reason for a mass sell-off to now occur in the S&P. The correction is over, Max Payne is higher, Everyone's missed the move. People are shorting into this move. And FOMO, if not from retail traders, definitely from institutions. Why would they have to FOMO? Because the FANG stocks are up massively since the start of the year. They have to window dress going into the end of the year. So I don't see any reason for this market to have a major sell-off. Any sell-off are just liquidations which strengthen the market, as we know, as per Masterclass. Uh, old money getting rid of their positions, new money entering. Once those liquidations are over, it, we're, we're going to go higher. Um, <clears throat> I think there might be a Federal Reserve meeting in December. I'm not too sure on that. I believe there might be one around the 15th or the 16th. I'll have to double check. So maybe that will provide some volatility. But between here and December, you know, that's a long time. One day is a very long time in the S&P. I mean, we're Thursday the 9th of September. Right. We could easily make new highs here before this time in December. Right. So, you know, I'm saying it's going to go all the way to around 5400. Trading view never works the first time, does it? Never, ever works. First. So, you know, we, we, could, we, we, we continue on this kind of path, you know, a couple of weeks before Christmas. Yeah. You, you know, they're going to chuck in a little curveball here. Sure. Bit of Santa Claus rally, bit of volatility. It's made new highs. Get some FOMO. It'll just be a flat and then it'll go higher. Right. So, you know, just like this, A, B, C, right? So it's just going to be another A, B, C. And that's what an ending diagonal is. Three, three, three. Then into the US election, right? RFK gets elected, you know, Trump, whatever. You know, I'm not a politics expert. Um, and then we go here. So, um, you know, I think it's very useful to join the group at a time like this for those who um, like a bit of risk, for those who don't just want to sit around in a savings account earning 5% or buy bonds as they collapse into the face of the earth. So, um, you know, I think the group is useful. And for those independent learners, uh, the masterclass has much more information. You know, you can go back the last six years on YouTube and have a look at all of the calls um, because, you know, it's is is some you know you got to get the big calls right basically and, and and you know that's pretty much what we've done here all over youtube and all over the facebook page so 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 it's all there but anyway uh, that's my current feeling obviously very fast moving market if anything changes i'll let you guys know and um, i won't re reveal that stock um that i believe is going to be the world's most valuable company in, in the next couple of years alongside the s p rallying towards around six thousand um but it's not apple i'll tell you that much